Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Valheim Plus with mods on an Unraged server. And so that way you can play with a custom seed and also whatever custom mods you want with you and your friends. And so I'm starting this video off with the assumption that you've already downloaded the mods you want and also have already modified your Valheim game on your gaming PC. I will not be showing you how to do that uh, for this video, only how to do everything on the server side. So with that assumption in mind, let's go ahead and create a custom seed. So let's hit start game. There's my character and let's create a new world. And it's very important that whatever you name your world, you remember exactly what you name it uh, because that will be important. And when I mean exactly, I mean the case sensitivity and everything. Now I went with all lowercase just to make things more simple for the video sakes. Uh, but just remember exactly how I spelled it because like I said earlier, it will make your life easier when the time comes. So the seed that I want is a tiny island with the seed of Uniform X-Ray Victor Juliet Tango India 3 Whiskey Echo Yuma. So this should give us a tiny starter island. But before we can just press that start button, we need to make sure this cloud icon is changed to a floppy disk icon. So we're gonna hit move to local. And now this is this seed or this world is gonna be saved locally to my gaming PC. That will make it easier for copying over to our server when the time comes. So now we can go ahead and hit on start and wait for ourselves to join the uh, world or I don't know, spawn into the world. So that way uh, we can take a look at it, make sure it's the right seed before continuing on. Okay, we just loaded into the tiny starter island and this seed looks like the one that I was expecting to see. Uh, see, we got some raspberries here. Um, looks like there's a deer down there and there's some more deer down there as well. Uh, yeah, so this looks like the seed that I want. So now that we have confirmed that, let's just go ahead and quit out of the game and move on to installing the server with an Unraid. Let's go ahead and install Valheim now. So if we go to the apps tab and the apps tab may not be available to you if you have not installed the community apps plugin. So I would highly recommend installing the community apps plugin if you haven't done so already. We're gonna search for Valheim and install a container by itch7777. And he makes really lovely stuff by the way. So this will be super simple. The, for the network type, we're going to go ahead and set it to custom because I want a custom IP address that I will be forwarding, port forwarding to in the future. Also not something I'm going to show you in this video. So uh, what IP address, how do I know what IP address to set? Well, my subnet is 10.10.10.10. Yours may be 192.168 or 172.16 or whatever it may be. Just make sure you follow that kind of pattern and then, I don't know, add in whatever IP address you want here at the tail end, like in my case where I'm doing .42. Uh, scrolling down, we're looking for validate installation. Now, I always set this to true. You don't have to do it, but I find that for the longevity of the container itself, it's best to go ahead and set it to true. Now, we're going to name this server whatever we'd like. I'm going to name it SPX Labs Valheim Server. And the only important thing in here for sure is the name of the server world. So I named mine Seaman earlier and I used all lowercase letters. So this is important because it'll make things easier for us. If you screw something up, you can fix this by just changing the name of the seed or the world itself, but things can get a little tricky. Um, so it's just easier to make sure everything's typed the same. I'm gonna set a password of unraid for life and scrolling down, one of the last things we're gonna wanna change in here is we're gonna set Valheim plus to true. So this container will install Valheim plus for us. You do not need to set both of these to true. If you do, you're gonna break things and make your life miserable. You only need to set Valheim plus to true uh, if you plan on using Valheim plus, uh, and we can also use other mods with it. Go ahead and hit apply. We're gonna wait for this container to install. It shouldn't take too long, uh, maybe about a minute to actually download depending on your internet connection. And once it's done, it will automatically start up, which is fine. We want that to happen. We can go view the log files. And what's gonna happen now is the container is gonna to go to Steam and download Valheim itself, as well as installing the Valheim Plus mod for us. And we just need to wait for all that to happen. And that's why it's important to open this window because we don't wanna start trying to copy over data too early. Okay, that might take you about five minutes, but we're basically looking to make sure that you see some of this text right here where it says start server with Valheim Plus. That's basically letting us know that this is now ready to go. So we can close this window and we're actually gonna stop the container 
because now we're gonna copy over the mods that I've already downloaded as well as the world itself. All right, now that the container is stopped, let's go ahead and open up two file explorers. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect uh, one file explorer to my server, which is at 10, 10, 10 10.9. I'm gonna open up the app data directory, go into Valheim. And so uh, we're gonna be dropping in our mods first. So let's open up this BEP in X folder. And inside of here is where we're gonna drop our mods. We're gonna drop uh, a couple of files for config and a few files for plugins. Now we need to navigate to where Valheim itself is installed. For most people it's in their C drive, but for me it's on my G drive inside of Steam. So using Steam, we're gonna go to Steam, Apps, Common, Valheim, and inside of the BEPNX folder, inside of config, we're gonna copy all of this, copy it to inside of the config file, and we'll just hit paste. We're gonna replace all the files because my Valheim Plus configuration file has been modified. It's not the default one. I've made changes to the way I want the game to be played. We'll go back to plugins. I have currently only the Valheim uh, Plus plugin. We'll go ahead and copy these plugins and paste them in there as well. And we can replace the Valheim Plus DLL, it's fine. Now, not all of these plugins need to be installed on both the server and your client and most of the people who make the mods will tell you when they needs to be installed on both the server and the client. But in this case, just to play it safe, I always just install the mods on both the client or the gaming PC and my server, just to make things more simple. All right, now let's go back to the Valheim folder and inside of there, there's a folder called .config. This might be hidden for you, so go to view and enable hidden files so that way you can see hidden files. Otherwise, we're gonna go inside of that folder, Unity, Iron Gate, Valheim, Worlds Local. We're gonna delete these two files right here. Then we're gonna go to our gaming PC and type in percent, app, data, percent. We're gonna go back to app data, so we're looking for local low. Now the full path for this is gonna be C colon, users, your username, app data, local low. And then inside of here is where our world is saved. So we're gonna to go to Iron Gate, Valheim, world's local, and I'm just gonna copy all of this. So good old, you know, copy and pasta. So now our seed that we created originally on our gaming PC is now on our server. So we are pretty much ready to go. Our mod should be installed, our servers installed. So let's go ahead and test to see if this is working. I just started up our server and let's look at the logs. And we're waiting to see when the server says that it has a start server with Valheim Plus. So this might take a couple of minutes. So we'll just give it some time. All right, looks like it's done. It says start server with Valheim Plus. So we can close this and now we can launch Valheim and join the server. Valheim started, so let's go ahead and hit start game, select our character. We're gonna click on join game so that way we can uh, specify which server we want to connect to. And since this is all local, we'll just use the IP address that we set. So 10.10.10.42.2456 for the default port. We'll click add server and finally connect. Now. This should, if we did everything right, allow us to connect and prompt us for the password that we set inside of the container earlier. This might take a minute to load because it is trying to load in that new uh, world. Let's enter our password here, unraid for life. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so that worked. We have arrived in our seed and uh, yep, this looks like the world that I wanted to originally create. So that's good. Let's grab some berries and stuff. Okay, it looks like it's working. Um, and let's check to see our mods. Yep, we have our mods up and running. So I'm pretty sure everything is working as expected. Um, all we need to do from here is just play the game and have some fun. So with all that being said, guys, if you have any questions about this setup or anything I did, drop a comment below and I will do my best to answer them and I will see you all next time. Peace.